one by one, the turkey vultures were scooped up out of the waters near Stiltsville in Biscayne Bay. The big question is, how do they get there and why? There's a lot of theories right now. We're not really sure exactly what happened. Um, this could have been a weather-related event. Um, we do have one casualty, so we're planning on having that one carcass evaluated for um, possible toxins or some other disease. These vultures are land scavengers which migrate from the north and normally do not fly over water. But Tuesday night, many could be spotted bopping up and down in the bay. When we arrived on scene, there was just birds sporadically dispersed, um, floating southward about, about a mile, a slick of them. Um, there looked to be about, I don't know, 35, 40 birds, and that's just what we saw. Turkey vultures are actually considered raptors, and they are uh, nature's uh, garbage men. It is their job to clean up all the dead carcasses and all the dead stuff that maybe is unpleasant, doesn't smell great. Um, so they're a very, very important part of our environment. All right, well, there they are. You are looking at them again live. Now, according to those here at the Wildlife Center, they're going to keep them here at least for today. Again, they're going to feed them. They're going to take care of them. They're going to try again to figure out exactly what caused all these animals to end up in the water like that. And hopefully by tomorrow, they can start releasing them back into the wild. Reporting live this afternoon in Miami, I'm Vanessa Ruiz, 7 News. More than 10 were found dead. CBS 4's David Sutta investigates what happened. There's a good reason you see turkey vultures on land. Their swimming moves are downright sad. This was the scene Tuesday evening in Coconut Grove as Florida Fish and Wildlife officers brought in dozens of birds found near Stiltsville in Biscayne Bay. 35, 40 birds, and that's just what we saw. And then on the way in, we ended up seeing a few more, but we, we, we tried to save as many as we could. The exhausted vultures could care less as Robert Scholl plucked them out of the water. They were swimming towards the boat. All of them were swimming towards my boat, so that should tell you something. I've never seen anything like that. Rescue staff from the Miami Science Museum told us 35 vultures swimming is bizarre. They should not be swimming anywhere. <laughs> we find them uh, pretty much all over the place, but definitely not swimming and definitely not in this shape. As wildlife keeper Miranda Dickey wrapped the birds up, she told us they've been ready for this for months. We were dreading the oil spill, and we missed that, and now we're getting this. Also on 7 this morning, biologists are mind-boggled at a depressing discovery. In Biscayne Bay, more than a dozen birds, far from their natural habitat, found flapping in the water. And now, while they are being cared for, investigators want to know how they got there. 7's Charles Belay reports. We're out there for the terrapins, so lights on. Turkey vultures, dozens of them, with their sharp beaks and clutching talons. But this night, weak and waterlogged. They are being brought to shore as passengers on boats after being rescued about a mile off of Stiltsville in the Biscayne Channel. It was here that fish and wildlife officers were alerted to a slew of birds struggling in the water. When we arrived on scene, there was just birds sporadically dispersed, um, floating southward about, about a mile, slick of them. Um, there looked to be about, I don't know, 35, 40 birds, and that's just what we saw. And here is where the mystery begins. Turkey vultures are land scavengers and rarely fly over water. So how did these birds get here, and why? That is a million-dollar question. You've got a real mystery on your hands here. I know, we do. And since this is our first one, we'll have some time later to kind of think about it and, and talk to some other people that might have uh, come across the same situation. The vultures arriving at the marina, and one by one by one, they are put into cages. Special care must be taken, because vultures are vicious. So I was warned that they have some serious talons and, and um, sharp beaks, but these guys were in... They were really weak when I got them on board. They were swimming towards the boat. All of them were swimming towards my boat, so that should tell you something. I've never seen anything like that. The waterlogged birds with feathers soaked are examined. It is rare to see this up close. Watch. After being weighed, the birds are injected with fluids and will be monitored. We're going to give them fluids, warm them up. They're, these birds are probably all hypothermic. So a lot of supportive care. None of them appear to have any fractures or anything like that that need to be stabilized. So we're going to get weights on all of them, identify all of them, and take it from there. As we come back out and you're taking a look at two of the vultures that are doing very well here at the Miami Science Museum, 
They're all in rehabilitation. This is an x-ray we wanted to show you of a turkey vulture. These are big birds. I'm 6'2", so my arms go out about six feet. That's the wingspan of these birds. They're big, they're dangerous, it's an important job, but it's being very well done. That's the situation in Miami. I'm Charles Belay for Today in Florida.